Hello there. Welcome to my channel. That does not yet exist. I think it's going to be called uh, something like Idiot with a Drill. And uh, this is the project here. We are going to be looking at my hand and then bringing it back. I'm not a camera dude. All right. So what we have, here, let me step back a little bit. We got a barn. Barn? Tool shed, storage shed. I've ripped off the face, the doors, all that stuff. Expose that inner skeleton. And that inner skeleton is overall pretty good. But she's got some damage. And we gotta fix her up real good. So first off, turning this into a kitchenette and a storage room. It's gonna work as two things. And uh Insulating the floor. These things come with these standard like tough shed metal frames. Threw some insulation down. Kind of got two kinds because I'm kind of new at this and not realizing what's what. Definitely want to get the paperback stuff. Much easier to work with than this plastic crap. I think the plastic's supposed to give some extra vapor barrier protection, but honestly, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to be doing cement board on the flooring and it's going to be sealed up real good on the walls too with cement board, but we got some issues. <clears throat> That's an issue. So we got some proper rotted base. Now obviously the original subfloor which I've removed, it's got issues. It has issues. But we're good over here. Subfloor is real nice along the back seam. So um, I'm probably going to leave that as is. Not sure because the, the new subfloor is going to be three quarter inch uh, ply and that's half inch down there so I'll have to do some uh, some autofill autofill self leveling what the fuck ever all right anyways uh, so some of what I got to do here thinking about this stuff <clears throat> I got to jack this whole fucking thing up because I got to remove stuff but maybe I don't right because what i think i can do to avoid that because without the front face creating some uh some some tensional support along the ends this whole thing will get some weeble wobble and it can just come off you know these these are just screwed in every so often with one or two like sheet metal type screws to get down into the metal framing so what i think i can do is um come over uh, it looks like I'm, I'm actually clean right here, so I can cut, I can cut right up in here. The whole skirt's got to come out, the outside skirt, it's rot. But I can cut here, and over there to the other end, there's a good six, seven feet worth of uh, wood I got to replace there. But if I, um, if I take the, oh, yeah, if I take those out down there, and unscrew who can I get in there I may not be able to get into I may not be able to do it oh schwazzle I was thinking I'd be able to unscrew these from the top beam keep the top beam in place because I won't do all of them and I can just remove the whole laterals on the bottom piece and then I'd be able to get the access to these to pull them out but I may end up having to jack this bad boy anyways i thought i was going to get away with a little bit less work but i think i'm fucked in a good way because i like a challenge so i've done it before i've jacked things up and replaced the subfloor under the the framing and i'll do it again so that's kind of the introduction to the problems here um there's a lot more i've, I've got an old vent that's been leaking. That's where all the, the damage is actually coming from, really, most of the ingress. There was quite a bit from the types of doors that actually handed up, you know, landed in there, it rotted out the structure. Even though it's aluminum, it shouldn't rot or rust. It's probably just got some coating or it's made of more than just aluminum. Maybe it's not aluminum, it is a flooring. It's gotta be stronger than aluminum, huh? Some kind of sheet metal. Anyway, uh, there's little areas of, uh, you know, Looks like some water's been able to get in, some some zones. So I'll be applying. 
Got some fun stuff. You don't need close-ups of me, right? All right, no, not that one. Here's the one. Oh, baby. Flex seal. We're gonna pop that in all these little zones. You know, if that's, you know. Yeah, that's actually gonna get some foam and then a seal, but anywhere where I see some rust along these seams, I'm gonna put this uh, spray rubber sealant. This is the stuff that Billy Mays made a boat out of cardboard or something by spraying it, or like plastic bags. I don't know what the hell he did, I forget. But also got the uh, fire block, and that'll get the bigger cracks and stuff and seal up all those little pieces. Turns out, you're not supposed to, like I was considering, you know, spray floor, spray insulation. I was like, can I get a bunch of cans and just spray the floor? It says not to be used in enclosed um, cracks and things. It's supposed to be kind of an exposed thing. It's not supposed to be sealed up. So that was new information. Um, anyways, that's a good start for what's got to go on. Rip the skirt, try to access all the, the, all the subfloor on this side in particular. We're pretty good. The, the The wood is pretty darn good until it gets to the front edge, you know, the subflooring there. So again, uh, maybe a little piece of, like, I don't know, masonite or something I can I can rip to that uh, that little gap space that the tra the uh, skill saw couldn't manage, and um, level out that gap and not use a self leveling. Although self leveling might be sealant, you know, as far as keeping. Um, moisture out. I don't want any modes of ingress and weak spots. And uh, yeah, so idiot with a drill. Gonna do it. It's gonna be wrap around counters in the front end. Gonna cut a window up in there. See out that way uh, out east. Uh, counters will go to about here and here and the front end will be uh, two really Heavy duty husky storage bins with all my storage crap. So, should I put in a projected time? Like how, how many hours? Like off the cuff, 50 hours. Off the cuff, and I, I don't know shit. 50 hours of labor. I'm, I'm like five or six hours in, so I'm probably fucking way wrong. Huh, 100 hours? I don't know. If this ever gets uploaded, you can leave a comment and let me know how long you think an idiot with a drill will take to convert his 30 plus year old shed into a beautiful 50s diner kitchenette and have it look nice. Hmm? We'll see. Alright, so hope you dug it. Peace out.